to the middle, and it's complete. McCaffrey! Will he score on the first play from scrimmage? Yes! Stanford definitely steamrolled down the stretch, including Christian McCaffrey's fantastic performance. In fact, McCaffrey did that pretty much all season, and he finished second in the Heisman Trophy. He's back again for another season, and that definitely gives Stanford at least another reason to be optimistic that the offense can still do great things. And Christian was no question the highlight reel waiting to happen with over two grand in rushing, but also, too, he led the Cardinal in receptions with 45 and receiving yardage with over 650. By the way, McCaffrey also returned a punt and a kick for a touchdown last season as well. But there is a mystery for the Stanford offense as far as signal caller. Who's it going to be for David Shaw? I mean, you've had Kevin Hogan and prior to him, Andrew Luck, the past seven seasons as a starting QB. It's either going to be Killer Christ, who only threw the ball nine times a year ago, and Ryan Burns, who didn't throw it at all. But good thing about being Stanford QB, defenses will primarily hone in on McCaffrey. So that will allow the quarterback maybe to develop as the year goes along. Receiver, they definitely have to develop in this area. They lost their top two, including Kevin Kajoust. So entering into the pitcher, Michael Rector played some last year, and of course, Francis Owuzu. Offensive line, boy, they lost some dandies in this area as well. So you got to try to replace the Allen Trophy winner and Joshua Garnett. A couple of experienced linemen are back. Johnny Caspers could be all Pac 12, and at the tackle position, Casey Tucker. And if this trend continues for the Cardinal, they're not winning the Pac-12. We're talking about forcing turnovers. They only forced one per game last season, 14 for the season. Cardinal last year were very good against the run, but they lost both defensive ends, including Brennan Scarlett. So now you have Solomon Thomas, who could play the tackle, could play the end. Coaches, of course, would like to see him play the end because of his quickness. Now, you're looking at linebackers. They return most of them, uh, and that includes uh, Joey Alfieri at the outside, Kelba Palma at the inside linebacker. Of course, you got to replace, though, the Pac-12 tackle leader from a year ago in Blake Martinez. Secondary returns nearly everybody, but they do have to get better. They were just middle of the pack last year in the country. Both corners, though, are back, and that includes Alameen Murphy. I'm going to buy you a beer, okay? And we can forget this whole little incident ever happened. It's on me. <laughs> now it's on you. Guess you wanted a light beer, huh? The first half of that schedule, well, it looks like punishment to me. As a matter of fact, Stanford gets their only bye week way too early in the season in early September, and most of their tough games are away from home. The Cardinal will finish strong, but they won't start that way. The schedule just has way too much competition to begin the 2016 season. I've got them winning eight. That's all for now. See you next time.